Okay, we're back inside Matrix Gold. Thanks for coming back and tuning in. I uh, hope this video is interesting to you. If it is, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit cra crazy today. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, I think you'll find it interesting and maybe it'll open up a lot of possibilities for you. So let's get started. Uh, first, we'll go ahead, of course, and get our ring rail. And we don't need that. Uh, and hit enter. So there's our ring rail. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get an outside ring rail for this particular example. And we'll go to our pro outside ring rail library. And we'll just take uh, this one here and hit select. And uh, close that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this up a little bit. Uh, so we'll, we'll drag this out to 2.5. We'll drag this down to 2.5. And our top will leave it as it is for right now. Uh, and we're going to hit enter. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I don't want to just edit this because it's a pain in the butt in the editor for the outside ring round. You can't save it if you do it in here to your outside ring rail library. Uh, so I'm just going to edit it right in here, our, our viewport. So I'm going to uh, right click on uh, the line to give us both sides. Go to F4 and change that to yellow. Hold down shift, take the line all the way across my uh, ring, outside ring rail and inside ring rail. And I'm going to take my outside ring rail and I am going to split it with my curve and hit enter. And then I'm just going to get rid of this top part and get rid of that ring rail. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to mirror it around. Oh, did something wrong. Let's back out of that. Okay, let's take our this, get rid of it. And we'll take this and we'll mirror it. F4, hold down shift and hit enter. And then we'll select that top one and the bottom one and we'll join those together. Alright, so there we have our design that we're going to go with. And from here, we need to put a p profile in there, of course. So let's go to our profile and profile placer. And we're going to switch this one. And we're going to go to one that I made a long time ago, I believe. Maybe not. It's number 12. Uh, and hit enter. So there's that. And we're going to select our outside ring rail and pop it up to there and we're going to do a little manipulation here uh, we're going to drag it out I don't know around a 7 or 8 something like that something like that and we're going to place one on the bottom because we don't want it so wide and we want to change the bottom one a little bit and we'll just take our n normal number 2 there and we'll go in here and manipulate it a little bit to about a, I don't know, four, four and a half maybe, four and a half. And uh, we'll hit enter. Now we need to do a surface sweep, surface two, one, two, one, two, enter, closed, yes. And let's take a look at that and see what, what it looks like. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take that profile and make it just a little bit wider. There we go. And we'll hit enter. Okay, we'll take that. Alright, so there's our ring. Now, uh, if you watch my videos in the past, uh, there's one that I made a flower uh, all through surface modeling. So I'm going to bring back those. I have them right here. Uh, so I have one that I mail stormed, which I spun the leaves around. It's in that another video, so take a look at that one if you uh, if you're interested. And then I have one that's just normal. So I got two different designs, but the one that's normal, uh, if you go to uh, wireframe, I put a dot in the middle of it, so it's just easier for me to to follow up with the the commands, and you'll you'll see in a little bit. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to do some splopping, I think it's called. Uh, it's uh, kind of an interesting tool. 
so let's go ahead and change this to a let's, let's actually yeah let's change this to a real light color so we can see it real good <coughs> we'll keep these on green so that when we put them up here we can kind of see them a little bit better so we'll go to our transform menu and way down here on the right uh, splop okay we'll select that uh, select objects to splop. Well, first one we'll do is the one that's uh, Maelstorm spun around and we'll hit enter and I know that's at F4 so I'm just going to go ahead and hit F4 and then I'm going to draw a circle around my item. Okay. Uh, now that circle is basically a bounding box so it's basically going to do boolean work. So now it says uh, select surface uh, to slop on and I'll take our ring and now I have a point up here on our surface I can drop a copy of that anywhere I want and it will form to the ring. So the first one I'll put up is like over here so you can kind of see it really good and I'll drag it out. You can make it as big or as small as you want. So I'll just splop that one there give it a few seconds some uh, depending on how much uh mathematics it has to do it'll uh but you can see it forms to the the ring and we'll splop another one like right in here we'll make it a little bit smaller somewhere there give it a second and then we'll splop another one kind of like right in here make it a little bit bigger hit there give it a second and we'll splop one on the side here over here on this side I just like saying the word splop <laughs> and uh, over on this side here let's see what let's see what I got on that side so let's do this side kinda like right in there give it a second all right, and I'll just click out of that one. So there we have them splopped on there. But if you look at them, you can see they they kind of conform with the surface. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this one. I'm going to turn it to wireframe. I'm going to right click, bringing back my splop command. Uh, select objects, this one here, hit enter. And uh, with my point snap on, I'm going to go in here, select my point and get my circle and now I can select my surface here and now I can start splopping these on here so we'll do one right in here we'll do another one right over here uh, we'll do one like right on the edge here why not Let's take a look and see how that one did. See, look at that. It curves right with the the ring. That is awesome. And we'll do one over here. And of course, we don't want to leave this side by itself, so we'll we'll take another one right here, smaller one. Splop that one on there, and we'll come over to this side and do another splop right there. All right? And then I'll back out of that and let's just take a look at this because there's one thing I else I want to show. So we have our splopping on there. Pretty cool. Uh, and then what we're going to do now is you can splop gems. So we're going to take a gem and put it out there and we'll just uh, drag it over and we'll make it smaller. You don't have to because uh, the size of uh, it will you can adjust any size you want and then we'll hit enter and then I'll go to my transform menu again go to splop select my gemstone point right there drag my circle around and now here what you want to do if you do a gem you can do gems on surface that's fine uh, but you want to uh, once you select your surface uh, go to rigid yes you don't want the diamond to conform to the surface of the ring it has to be a, a rigid uh, point so you don't want it flopping all over the place so we'll take it there 
put one there put one over here put one here put one there put one here put one there and we'll come over to the other side here and slap one right on here one over here and we'll do another one right here okay and we'll back out of that so now we have a nice little ring that's all formed up so let's see let's go to our and uh, we'll go to our render turn on matrix gold so we can see the diamonds and there you go quick and dirty way to make a nice little little ring pretty cool huh I like this command all you have to do now is join boolean out those so you can circle set them or gypsy set them or flush set them however you call it uh, and you're good to go all right well hope this <laughs> helps uh, thanks for watching it's a pretty short video but it, it really just kind of gives all the basics of the splop and uh, you can make the hardest part is making your designs that you want to throw up onto the ring that's that's really about it so thanks for watching uh, if the video helped you please like subscribe and leave a comment below uh, really appreciate those subscriptions and thank you for watching really appreciate it uh, have a good one and good designing thanks